how to measure distance on Google Maps. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. I bet that you did not know you could do this on Google Maps. It's a very cool trick. And um, I'm going to show you how to go about it right now. So what you want to do is make sure that, first of all, you're in your Play Store and you update your Google Maps so that you're using the latest version. The next thing you want to do is jump into Google Maps and you can go ahead on any area of your map. And what you want to do is locate a street and you want to hold your finger down on that street. And it's going to look something like this. It's going to put a pin right over there. It's going to also give you its address. It'll give you a tiny photograph and then it'll tell you what your distance is um, or how long it'll take for you to get from your current location to this pin. You can now literally take this um, bar of information and we can pull it up. Now, once we pull it up, you can see that there are a few options. What we're looking for is measure distance, and we're going to tap on that. Now, from here, it's very, very simple. What we're going to do is literally tap down on that marker that we just um, made, and we are going to drag it, right? And I'm dragging down now, so I'm actually dragging the map. I'm not dragging the dot. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it to the end of the street, and once you get to the end of the street, right, you're going to tap on the bottom right hand side, there's a plus icon and it says add point. We're going to tap on that and now you can carry on with your distance. We're going to go up to the next point. Again, we're going to go ahead and tap on add point and we can now go ahead and uh, make another point. So as this is happening on the bottom of your page, on the left hand side, there is a 0 0.3 miles and this is actually the distance as you're moving. So if you tap on add point again and you just go ahead and you continue to drag that line, you will see now that the distance on the bottom left hand side actually increases. And again, we're going around a bend and we want to just make a point there and make sure that we are going straight on the line. And this is a nice way to sort of measure distance without having to dial in um, addresses and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on this feature. Did you know about it? Didn't you know about it? You can drop it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you in another awesome video. Cheers.